I've never been more terrified in my entire life. And this happened maybe three, four times. We should all realize that nobody's perfect. I was definitely the victim of an exorcism. I really backed myself into a corner of shame. <laughs> Terrifying Tuesday. My family, we like to buy things and we run them into the ground, right? So for, for example, my last laptop, I had it from 2007 and I kept it until 2012. And by the time that I was ready to retire it, that thing was bloated, like the battery was like expanding. I had to keep it plugged into the charger, otherwise it would die on me. I would take it into maintenance and I was like, can I get a new battery? And they're like, no, you, you can't, you know, this, the battery is not even being made anymore. Just let it die. And then my dad's car, he drove that thing for 18 years before it finally died on us and it was a stick shift manual and it got to the point where all of the AC was, it was non-existent. The windows, every time you rolled it, the knobs would come off and so you literally, you're like doing this thing, trying to get some air because there's none inside the car. There was a certain point where the door was like, slammed and in order to be able to like get in you had to go in through the passenger side seat in order to be able to drive it. The scariest moment of my life would probably be right around high school as the car was dying. We would be at like the front, this has happened multiple times, we were like in you know first row of this major intersection like four lanes, busy traffic and then we would be stopped, the light would turn green. My dad goes, puts the car in first gear, heels into the middle of the intersection and then the car would die on us. And next thing you know, swearing, cursing, honking from all sides. Cars are coming in, stopping, braking. I've never been more terrified in my entire life. And this happened maybe three, four times, you know, where my dad would have to restart the car, put the car back into first gear, like the longest 10 seconds of my life. And then after that happened like a few more times, he was like, maybe we should get a new car. Good thinking, Dad. Thank <laughs> you.